Hey everybody, this is Ronnie Lott, and this uh, geometry lesson is on uh, angle pair relationships. Alright, let's first do the board problem. Uh, so the sum of two numbers is 90, and one number is four times the other. Find the, the two numbers. Okay, so let's do that. So here's the sum of two different numbers is 90, and one of them is four times the other. Alright, now, since uh, this x equals 4y, I'm going to put in 4y for this x right here. Okay, so I get 4y plus y equals 90, so 5y goes into 90 18 times. So uh, one of them is 18, one of the numbers 18, and the other one is 4 times 18, or 72. Okay, so look, these two guys add up to 90. All right, now this one says find the measure of angle ABD. So ABD is this guy right here. My angle addition postulate says I can go ahead and do 168 plus 12. That's going to get me that. So 168 plus 12 is 180. And what kind of angle it is? It's a, it's a straight angle. All right, so this is angle pair relationships. Okay, so two angles that add up to 90, two angles that add up to 90 are called complementary angles. And I abbreviate them as COMP. Two angles that add up to 180 are supplementary angles. Two angles that share a common vertex and a side uh, are called adjacent angles. So here's an example right here. Can you see that? These guys share this vertex right here, and they share this side right here. So these guys are adjacent angles. And since they add up to 90 right there, they're adjacent complementary angles. Okay, so there's two of them right at the, right at the name right there. They're adjacent to each other because they share this vertex right here, and they share this side. So they're adjacent, they're next to each other, and they add up to 90 because of this right angle symbol. So they're uh, complementary adjacent angles. Okay, these guys right here. Uh, let's see, I put some numbers in there. Okay, so if this uh, angle is uh, 25 and this angle is 65, 25 plus 65 is 90. So they're still complementary, but they're not adjacent. So we're going to say non-adjacent. Okay, so the, those ones are complementary and they're non-adjacent because they don't share the same vertex and they don't share a side. All right, what about these guys? Five and six, okay, are they adjacent? Yes, because they share this vertex and they share this side, and they make up a straight line. Straight lines, get used to it, you guys. Straight lines are 180. You're gonna get used to that all the time. 180 is supplementary, so they are adjacent supplementary angles. Okay, what about these guys? Okay, notice these guys add up to 180. 130 plus 50 is 180, and they're not uh, adjacent angles, so they're non-adjacent supplementary angles, all right? Okay, so in the figure, name a pair of complementary angles, supplementary angles, and adjacent angles. So here's the, uh, the figure right here. Okay, and now I'd probably pause it right here so you guys can write them down if you're taking notes. Uh, my kids, I just teach it in class. So remember, uh, complementary means they have to add up to 90. So this 75 uh, plus this 15 adds up to 90. So this angle right here and this angle are complementary. And then 180. Uh, this angle and this angle are uh, uh, 75 plus 105 is 180, so these guys would be supplementary angles. Uh, and then adjacent angles, these are my adjacent angles right here, this angle right here and this angle right here, because they share this vertex and this side right here. So depends on how you, so the complementary angles, um, uh, angle KAB and RNO. Okay, so this angle over here and this little angle right here are complementary angles. Okay, supplementary angles are the two, uh, the, the 75 plus 105. Okay, so those angles are supplementary. All right, and then uh, adjacent angles are the ones that share the side and the same vertex right there. All righty. All right, so given that uh, angle 1 is the complement of angle 2, and that you know, remember, complementary is 90, so 17 plus what equals 90? 17 plus 73 equals 90, so the measure of angle 2 is, is 73. This says the measure of angle 2, 73. Okay, uh, so given that angle 3 is a supplement, means 180, supplement of angle 4, and angle 3 is 119, find the measure of angle 4, so I just take 180 and subtract 119, and you get 61. Okay, so that's what measure of angle 4 is. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, looks like two roads intersect to form supplementary angles. Look at these fancy roads. Boy, those are skinny roads, huh? Anyways, these lines represent roads here. Okay, and angle ALD, so I'm right here, angle ALD, so here's angle ALD and DLU. Uh, form supplementary in angles. Okay, it says these two roads intersect to form supplementary angles. So these two add up to 180. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. 
The 2x uh, uh, straight lines are always 180. 2x plus 14 plus 4x minus 20 equals that straight line 180. Okay, so uh, uh, combine like terms. 2x plus 4x is 6x. Positive 14 minus 20 is a minus 6 right here. So now I'm going to go plus 6 plus 6 to get 186. And I get x equals 31. Remember, x almost always in geometry is not the, the final answer. It says find the measure of angle ALD. Okay, ALD is the 2x plus 14. So I'm going to plug in 31 right there. And DLU is going to be plug in 31 right there. So I did that. And I get 76 and 104 degrees. Okay, notice these guys are 180. They add up to 180, so they're supplementary. Okay, uh, so some more definitions here. Uh, two angle, two adjacent angles form what's called a linear pair, and I abbreviate it as LP. If their non-common side makes a straight line, and you're thinking, what? Okay, so there's a straight line right there. Okay, there's the common side right there, and, they, and they're linear pair, and they're adjacent angles, so they share this vertex, and they share this side, so they're adjacent angles, and these non-common sides make up a straight line, okay, and if that's the case, these guys are called a linear pair. Linear means line, they make up a line, linear pair, linear pair, these two angles make up a straight line right there, okay, so they're 180. Okay, two angles that are vertical, if their sides form two pairs of opposite rays, Okay, so here's vertical angles. This angle and this angle, they, they're opposites of each other. Four and six are vertical angles. Three and five are vertical angles. We'll learn uh, shortly that vertical angles are congruent. I don't, I don't think it's in this lesson. I think it's in the next chapter, I think. Okay, so uh, three and five are vertical angles. Four and six are vertical angles, and they're congruent. Three is congruent to five, and four is congruent to six. Check this out, you guys. Pretend like this angle is 75. This angle would have to be 105 because of this straight line. Straight lines are always 180. And if this 105, this is 75 because of this straight line. This straight line is 180 also. And if that's 75 and that's 75, can you see they're congruent? And if that's 75, this is 105 because of this straight line right here. So 6 and 4 are congruent. 3 and 5 are congruent. Okay? All right. So uh, identify all linear pairs. Uh, and vertical angles in the figure. Okay, linear pairs, two angles that make a straight line. Okay, can you see these two angles? One and two makes up this line right here. Can you see two and three makes up this line right here? Line, linear, linear pair. So one and two are a linear pair. Two and three are a linear pair. Okay, and the only vertical angles I see are one and three because they got to be congruent to each other. A lot of people want to think four and two are, but they're not congruent. I'd need this, this line to keep going this way, right up through here, to make a vertical angle, and it would have to be over here somewhere. Okay, so the only vertical angles are 1 and 3. All right, so linear pairs are 1 and 2, 2 and 3, and the verticals are 1 and 3. Okay, vertical angles are formed by two intersecting lines. Okay, this is not a line. This is a ray right here, so it doesn't make any vertical angles. All right, okay, an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Okay, so there's an angle. There's a, a ray that's going to bisect that angle. And when it bisects that angle, if that ray RN bisects angle TRA, then TRN is congruent to NRA. Okay, if this red ray bisects the angle, then this little angle right here is congruent to this little angle right here. Angle TRN is congruent to angle N. R A. Notice R is always in the middle. The vertex is always the middle letter. All right. So, and you might want to say um, now. Notice that, um, uh, if they have the M with it, then it's not congruent. It's equal. It's talking about the actual measure in degrees. If they have just the angle without the M, then you have the congruency symbol. Okay. All right, so in the figure, ray ON bisects angle JOH. Okay, so if it bisects angle JOH, then this ray is going to cut these two angles into equal angles. So 14 minus, 14x minus 20 is going to equal 10x plus 8. The, the ray bisects makes congruent angles. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 10 from 14 and get 4x. I'm going to add 28 to 8 to get 28. And I get x equals 7. Remember, x is always not the answer. They want angle J-O-H. J-O-H is 
twice either one of these guys right here. So I'm going to plug x equals 7 right there and then double it because it's going to be the same over there. Remember this ray bisects it so these guys are equal. So by the angle addition postulate, whatever this angle is plus this angle is going to be the whole angle right there. Okay, so I'm going to plug in x equals 7 into 10x plus uh, 8 and I get 156 degrees finally. All right, and if you're in my class, this would be your homework.